I'm Rodonna from Boys and Girls Hairstyles. Today I have Helen with me. And if you watch my um, previous videos, um, we have been growing her hair out. It's been over a year now. And it's been fun to show you guys um, how to grow out her hair. So if you haven't seen those videos, um, it's really fun. You'll have to go back. She had short, spiky hair. Um, and so it's been fun growing it out. So. Uh, I'm gonna talk about her color to what we what we've done but what I'm gonna do is start with the cut so the one thing that I have been talking to everybody about is keeping the back um, short while all of this um, grows out to it so that's definitely something you want to do when you're growing out your hair is keep the back cut up um, so it can start catching your sides and your top Okay, so you can see that I'm gonna just have her, her head normal. She's not down anymore, it's just normal. I know, right? Kinking back and forth. Anyway, but um, I'm just gonna hold this down. And you can see how it's connected here with this front, how I'm just barely taking any off here. Um, but we're starting to get that look where it's longer in the front and shorter here in the back, which that's the look that we're going for. Um, okay, same thing here. I'm just taking that length off the back. And then I make sure that her head is even so her head isn't down anymore. Then I comb all this down and then just trim this front. Okay, so just barely trim that. Now what I'll do is I'll take the clippers, the little trimmers, and just clean this up a tiny bit. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, it was so funny. When Helen started growing it out, um, we talked and she's like, yeah, I'll probably come back next time and tell you to, you know, to chop it off. But honestly, it, it, it does make a difference if you keep trimming it into a style while you are growing it out. It makes a huge difference. So um, I'm taking from the top of the ear and I'm taking the clip, clipping that hair up and then I take the middle hair and I'm taking the bulk out of this because I wanna keep this tighter to her head um, and that way it will connect with those layers on top that are growing out. So we're keeping this a little bit tighter Taking this bulk off in the back here. Anyway, it was really fun. So this time, um, we ended up doing one dark, which is a 5N, it's a double N, 5NN, which is a natural, natural brown color. And then I put a 4R in there in another foil. So we did the foil separate. So a 5N, a 4R, and then one blonde, and that's that's the the way that I did it. So I did um, a brown, a red, a blonde, a brown, a red, a blonde. So if you watch the other videos, you'll see one of the videos, she's a little bit more blonde. The other video, she's a little bit more red. Um, I love it, she's, <laughs> she's so daring now. We always laugh and talk about the first time that I said to her, Helen, we really should add some red to your hair. I think you would love it. And she was like, what? Like, Red? No way. Yeah, she kept saying, no, 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 no. Anyway, and bless her heart, she like she trusted me. So we ended up putting red in it, and she loved it. And then she kept putting more red, more red. And this time she came, and we did brown, red, and the blonde. So, yeah, it's super fun. I'm glad that she changes it up. And I never know. She just shows up and says, okay, hey, we're going to do this. And I say, okay, let's do it. <laughs> of course, if I didn't think it wouldn't look good on her, I definitely would tell her. She knows that. So if we do get into that conversation, then it's probably, you know, we won't do it. But yes, this one. Yeah, yeah. I would look at her and say, Helen, what, what are you thinking, sweetheart? <laughs> No, that's what's awesome. She's been a client for so darn long, and we, our families are best friends. Um, 
something really, really special. So my dad passed eight years ago and her son, we're, like I said, we're really, all of us are really good friends. Her son brought over this picture. Hopefully I don't get teary eyed, but he drew a picture of my dad. He's a hunter. He was a hunter and it was with his big um, buck that he, that he had gotten. And anyway, it was really super special. So he ended up drawing that for all of us. And then we got a copy of it. And so all my siblings and my mom got that. And then we framed it in, in an outdoorsy frame. And anyway, so that, that was seriously special. That was awesome. So anyway, I, I will never, ever for, forget that. And in fact, Helen Rochelle and I was talking. That's my sister. Um, we was talking the other day because I hung it up downstairs, that picture that he drew and about how much we appreciate that still to this day because it was so, you know what I mean? Yeah. Super, super awesome. So, yes, it was so detailed and it was so cute because my dad had these cheeks and he's just so cute and he had every detail and everything and anyway, so that, that was seriously special. So yeah, that's, that's what Helen and her family are to us. They are like family, so. So you can see that I'm just taking this up on this angle. And then when I get to about here, that's when I start to come off a 90 degree angle. And then just come straight across here. So same thing this way. And then I'm just gonna come down and follow that guideline. And then it will go into to that length right there. Okay, same thing. Pull this out. Connect that to that layer. Okay. All right. So now, same thing over here. We are going to connect this and come up to that top layer and just point cut into that and take just a little bit of that length. Same thing here. And up to this top. Okay, and the sides up to the top. Okay, sweet. Now, right here, we're going to come along the top. And I'm just going to trim this because, like I said, she's obviously growing it out. So we're going to trim it and not take a ton of length. I can't wait to see it dry, the color. It's gonna be so fun. Okay, then I'm going to hold this straight out and just barely trim this. Okay, and then up to the top. Okay, same thing, you can just see that I'm I'm going around the head this way to just trim that. Yeah, it's so weird. When I used to weave Helen's hair, it was like, you know, all these little hairs and now it takes, yeah. <laughs> takes a little bit, huh? I mean, not as, not as much time, but it's just so funny the difference. Sometimes, well, and you out there that are yeah. doing hair, sometimes yeah. Obviously, with a little bit of length, it's actually easier than having that short hair to weave. Okay, perfect. So now, we're going to bring this to the side here. And I'm going to, I have it on an angle. If you can see my fingers, they're on an angle. So I'm just, just kind of trimming the, the ends there. And then I can come back up in between. 
So I'm just coming along this side here. I'm just trimming. Okay. And then this side, we'll come and do this side. So you can see I'm just barely taking that off. And you know, some people think that when they're growing their hair, they shouldn't cut it, but it's the opposite. <laughs> you definitely should. Okay, so I'm gonna come up. You can see how far up I am. I'm just opening and shutting my shears. Then I'm gonna scoot over a little way, ways, open and shut my shears. Over this way, open and shut my shears. Scoot over. You can see how far over I'm going. Okay, and then that way you can see those little hairs in there. Then it's not so like bulky in that front and it'll be more PC. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is definitely lots of texture. Mm -hmm. Helen has lots of hair, it's fine, but she has lots of it. So you need a lot of texture. Okay, so you hold this. You can see where that bends. That's where you take out the bulk. So it's bending there. And then back through this back, you can see I'm out about an inch and I take my the shears in there, texturizing. Just make sure you don't go in where there is a part. You don't wanna go in by a part or a hairline. Okay, so I'm taking all this out. Then we will add mousse because we want to add volume and we don't wanna weigh her hair down because she has enough weight with her own hair. <laughs> so it still feels a little heavy and you guys will get to know that with your clients. If it feels heavy, go ahead and do a little bit more, it's okay. Um, obviously make sure they have enough hair for that, but and say they don't have enough hair to go give more, get like a root lifter or something like that to help them. Okay, so the mousse, I'm gonna put the mousse in here. And then we will dry and flat iron. Yeah, it's been a fun change for Helen, don't you think, Helen? Mm -hmm. Yep. Been good. Okay, now we're gonna dry. Um, I'm gonna dry it to where it's 80% dry and then I'll round brush it. to just hold that up while I take the flat iron oh look at that that is so long now it's so crazy to hold it and have like all this hair to like flat iron yeah so fun so much fun Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, Helen, if I could only tell him some of the stories that happened at my house during <laughs> the last 25 of years of doing your hair. That one with Bray, oh goodness. Yep. We'll never forget that one. <laughs> Good times. No, I look better now and think, oh. <laughs> right, exactly. Now she's getting so old, I'm like, oh. <laughs> Crazy, crazy. Okay, same thing. Just gonna clip that up while I take this flat iron. And you can see I'm just taking it straight down. And then I take, you can see that I'm just pulling that down and. Okay. All right, now I'm going 
going to take some paste. I'm going to take a little bit of that. Put it through my fingertips. I'm just going to come up through here. Kind of give these layers a little bit of separation. She likes a little poof, but not a ton. We're doing more of just a soft look. So I'm going to back comb a tiny bit, just to give it a little bit, but I not love the color. Do, do, oh, did you just peek? <laughs> she loves the color. See, that's a good thing. I'm excited. Super excited. Okay, just spray underneath the back combing, then just kind of just pushing that down. I'm just kind of doing this, just so it makes it a little bit not messy, but just so it's not so set. Just kind of do this, and then I'll just spray it. So it's so fun. You can see that red in there. You can see the blonde, the brown, the natural highlighting. Just kidding. To say it's not blonde, it's gray. <laughs> but see, that's good. The highlights just go right along with it. Okay, I'm gonna see what we've done here in the mirror. See, is that fun for the color? Do you like? I do. Okay, and do the veins feel PC enough? Yep. Okay, I'm just, I'm just double checking the length here. Okay, awesome, awesome. Okay, now I'm just gonna turn her around so you can see how cute that is, that's stacked. So cute. It needs to be short and spiky. Ah, she did it. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Helen. You were awesome. You guys, thank you so much for watching. I love to talk to you, and I love to hear your comments. Um, I hope you have a phenomenal day, and we'll see you next time. See ya.